Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, and welcome back to Starfield. Today we're going to head up to the Eye to speak to Vladimir, see about getting some of these artifacts, and see what else we can pick up along the way. So let's get into it. Aha. Hello, madam. And we need to get Eddie some proper clothes, because as nice as this um, this suit is, and let's face it, it's awesome blousem, um, we need some proper clothes. We really do. I don't know what would suit Eddie, but we'll find out. Anyway. Okay. Hopefully we've um, we've got an adoring fan on our ship. I don't know whether you can take him with you as like a companion. Companion, maybe we'll do that. Just to see what he's like. At least until we meet up with Andreja. I wonder if Andreja's the same. Maybe she'll be different. Maybe she'll have, I don't know red hair or she won't be House Varun or she'll be something else completely. Maybe she'll be a pot plant. In which case I will put her in my ship and look after her. <laughs> and here we are. Wonderful. Beautiful ship. Oh, there you are. Hello. Is it weird that I still get nervous around you? We're literally best friends after all uh, well hmm don't know about that dude it really doesn't matter what fancy machine you use to brew coffee talk to representative it's all chisholm about the bean. who is representative chisholm and why did that just come up uh, do you know what i'd like you to follow me for yes. a while how close should i follow you two meters behind one meter less than one meter I just want to make sure you've got enough space, emotionally. Let's, um... Uh, yeah, T keep your distance, you know, six six foot rules. I know that the, the dreaded um, vid is over, but, you know. Okay, you won't even know I'm here. All right, bud, chill out. Okay, so, so Adoring Fan is now our Adoring Follower. Now, obviously, I film ahead of schedule, so if anybody put in any suggestions on the last video for names for him, don't be worried. I haven't forgotten about it. Um, I'm going to have a look at them once the video is published, and uh, he will be given his name in due course. All right. <laughs> Okay, we need to speak to Vladimir first. Let's let's get that done. Vladimir! Hello, sir! If it isn't the man I'm supposed to know from another side. Yep. That was some meeting to listen in on. Starborn, are you? I certainly am. Um I mean I am. And I suppose I am on Constellation's side. I'm not gonna do anything awful. Anyone who doesn't charge into a room swinging is a friend in my book. Tried crossing all the T's with the information you unloaded to Sarah and the others. I've got good news and bad. Good news is the eyes found what you're looking for. Bad news is they're not in the places you said they'd be. Ah, so they're in different spots, huh? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so you found them all just like that? I mean, it was a lot harder the first time, I think. Well, helps that you gave everything we needed to track them down. True. Honestly, it makes my hair stand on end, like we're cheating time somehow. Ah, don't worry. Rules were made to be broken. Um, yeah, why aren't the artifacts where they were last time? By last time, you mean your last time, right? Yeah. Thinking if it's really a multiverse, then maybe the artifacts aren't always in the same spots. Mm, possibly, possibly. Uh, yes, the power of the unity does not come easily. I'll need to take your word on that, Starborn. Cool. Here's the data. Manage to find a planet that might have one of those temples you talked about as well. Ooh. Could probably find more temples if I have enough time to cross-reference. Come back when you've given the first one the thorough comb. Will do. Vladimir, brilliant. My question is, we obviously, if I am correct, yes, we have all the powers here. So, if there's a temples to find... I know we're probably going to get a power for there, which is okay, but what are the other two, I wonder? Curiosity, curiosity. I've just realised we don't actually have a power selected, so I think we'll go with... 
Maybe... Hmm. Let's try Supernova. Or what's Life Forced might be a good one. No, no, we'll go with Supernova. Give that a go. Look at Eddie. Brilliant. So we need to actually have a look at our weapons here. We have got two. Uh, a Scout's Advanced Pacifier, which... Is that a shotgun? Yes, it is a shotgun. It says it right there. It says it right there. I'm just blind, that's all. Okay, let's put that... Um, we'll put that at number one for now. The cutter I'm not too worried about. We need to put our aid as well on. We'll put that on zero, which is what we had on last time. Right, let's um, let's head out. So we need to go and find some more of these temples. I wonder if there's any if there's any outfits here. Outfits, good grief, honestly. Just any kind of you know some casual wear. I'm casual, man. Casual. Lots of eggs. I mean, I like eggs, but I don't want to eat them all. In that in in that sense. Can't see any clothes. What antimicrobial? Or is it microbial? 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 Ah, whichever. It doesn't matter. It does. Doesn't matter. Why? Why is this closed off? Interesting. Hmm. I wonder why. Curiosity and all that jazz. Okay, washroom. It's weird to think that. No. That Vladimir lives up here on his own. I wonder if he gets lonely. I don't think I'd get lonely, because, I mean, I'm a bit of a, a loner anyway in life. You know, you have people that you know, but you kind of. I'm a bit of a homebody. A sealed meal tray. Ah, oh, well. Oh, peak performance. Pharmaceuticals are permanently 2% less addictive. Brilliant. I like that. We always need less addiction to our pharmaceuticals. Anything else? Spacesuit workbench. I don't know if you can improve on this spacesuit. You probably can. You probably can. Okay. Ooh, hey. Um, yeah, we might as well. We might as well take. Yep, yep. I mean, who doesn't enjoy their, what is it, a game of Solar Frontiers with the dinner and, um, you know, some just some ammunition on the table. I, I do that all the time at home. Easy. Oh. Sorry, I was just having a drink of my protein shake for lunch. So what's the UC hey, mute? Oh, Charlie three. That's you, Charlie three. Hi. I got some information for you. Uh, please uh, acknowledge. All right. Whoa, whoa. Bye, Charlie three. Oh my God. No. Uh, I'm just doing okay. my daily pain and forward. Avoid the Altair system. Not big time. Why? Um. Yeah, why, why are you calling me Charlie 3? I meet so many people, and I've just given up trying to keep track of them all. So you're the third Charlie I've met today. Oh. Nice to meet you. Well, that's, yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for the warning about Altair. Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and <laughs> oh boy, spacers all over the damn place there. Distress call, yammering nonstop. Some big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game? Yes, we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? Um, well, I might be able to might be able to help out. What did the distress call say? Yeah. Oh, it sounded bad. Real bad. But I had my own problems. I had to plot a course out before the spacers took out my grav drive. Sorry, I'm just not constitutionally capable of the big space fight thing. I mean, I kind of get that, but, you know, people people could have used your help. But you know what? It, uh, maybe I can help Charlie out. Charlie 3, you yes. are looking to pay it forward like big time. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you you're crazy, but... Wow. Bye, Charlie 3. You've been like the best Charlie 3 I've talked to all week. Cool. 
Do you know who he reminded me of? The voice, anyway, the accent. Um, Neebs from Neebs Gaming. I love Neebs Gaming. I've not watched them for a while, purely because... Um, well, one of their their colleagues unfortunately passed away and, and since that's happened I can't bring myself to watch them I don't know why, I'll tell you what, let's oh wow let's is that, ooh, fuel module hello, but yeah he reminded me of um, Neebs, from Neebs Gaming is that a temple? is that a temple? Tranquil here. I bet I can hear your voice much more clearly. Okay, so well there's a sandstorm, which is not ideal, but that's fine. So covered crater? What the hell? Who's that? Who are you? Where are you going? You're going over there. What's over there though? What is this? Are these folks that we can interact with? Are they spacers or we're supposed to be looking for temples. We're supposed to be looking for temples and artifacts, and I'm not doing it because I'm too busy. Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, they're still there. I mean, I know I'm just I'm asking for trouble right now. I'm 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 asking for it. I have literally put up a flag upon myself and gone here. I am looking for trouble. And they're just taking off again. Did they leave anybody behind, or is this just a just a joke? Am I a joke to you, sir? Hello. Aluminium. An unknown ship with a crash site. Ugh. The crash sites were never um, never really that lucrative, to be honest. All right, adoring fan, yet to be named, yet to be named. We'll call him Ad for now. Ad. Had. Ugh, whatever. Whoa, why is the rock on fire? Okay, let's just, 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 just. Can I scan it? An unknown feature. A fumarole field. The Rift Valley pulls itself apart, opening fissures for hot gases and vapours to be emitted. Alright. Well, okay. Hmm. I am very curious about these folks who just keep landing around here. What's that? The oh, a door, excuse me, thank you. What? Abandoned grip light manufacturing plant. Covered crater. Civilian outpost, huh? Maybe we could visit the civilian outpost after we've um, been in here. Can we? Oh, God. Oh! There's the artifact. We'll look. Artifact what? Zai. Is that how you pronounce that? Zai? <laughs> My god, this, this weapon isn't the best. I'm not going to lie. Are you... Hello? Adoring fan? Um, shotgun ain't the best, I'm not going to lie, but, well, whatever. Whatever. Let's do this. So we need to cut this thing out of here. Get all this. Calumite. Calumite? Can we just take it now? Brilliant! We did it! Adoring fan. AF. <laughs> A 
adoring fan. Okay, so what else is in here, if anything? We'll have a little sniff round, just a quick peep. I'm not going to go wild. And um, then we will head out and go to the next one. I think we'll go to the covered crater first, just see what's, what's there. There might be nothing, there might be something. Who knows? But I want to know. Curiosity. Anything else for us to scan en route? Aluminium. Aluminium. Yes, it's aluminium. As I've said before, my English is English English. And Eddie is also English English. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like that. Ship's landing site? What is that? We might have to have a look at that as well. Curiosity. Ooh, I forgot lithium. Covered cr Is that blood? Oh no, it's just stone. Let's be prepared. I'm just gonna, yep, top ourselves up a little bit. What is the deal with this covered crater? Why is it covered? Oh. Is there anything actually in here? Uh, okay. Oh, all right, whoa. More lithium, more nickel. I mean, it's a... Ooh, rock pile, hello. What's in here? Lead and iron. All right. Um, What a random thing to find out here. A jar of cosmetic. Well, we'll take it. Anything else? Lots of lithium. Um, and not really much else. That's mildly disappointing. It's quite cool though you know in a in a way <laughs> all right let's head back to the ship and um maybe we'll check out that civilian outpost and that ship landing site because what's that about this looks like one of those places where everything interesting is underground i mean it surely does my question i've just realized as we were landing how does the starborn guardian ship sit does it just kind of hover? Answer me that, adoring fan. You can't. Okay, so the outpost is... Okay, that's a temple. Oh, no. Autonomous Dog Star Factory. Curious. So the civilian outpost is this way? I mean... Okay, doesn't look like as much this way, but... Ah, here we are. So what's the script here? Anything in this? Ooh, solid storage large. What's in here? Tungsten. Yeah. What else have you got? Tungsten, power circuits and stuff. Hmm. Might have to have a little dabble, maybe. Because it's all useful stuff. We can use it to, you know, build things, mod things. Anything else here? So, who are you, sir? You arrived oh. at just the right time, stranger. Madam. Sorry. There were some fireworks the other night. Fireworks? A big argument about the direction our colonies headed. One of our friends stormed off. We were hoping they'd come to their senses and return home. And now we're just worried. We'd all be grateful if you can find them and convince them to come home. Do you know what? Cool. Looks like I get to put my silver tongue to use then. Um, <laughs> no, I'll do my best. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you kindly. I thought Eddie was being a little bit cheeky then. Okay, so find and convince the colonists to return to the civilian outpost. Okay, well, we will do that. Is there anything else here? Lots of, um, lots of storage. Ah, here we go. Here's the hub, the habitat. Keeping all this equipment running is a tiring work. Yep. Our tech is in Thanks for your help. Thanks for my help. I've not even started. Yeah, oh, bloody door. Hello? Is this a shop? Sweet oils. So. 
Yeah. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Nobody's stealing my sweet rolls. I think sweet rolls, <clears throat> they look like, if you look at them, they remind me of what we call, I think, a cinnamon swirl here in the UK. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, are they all going to bed now? Oh. We'll find a way. We'll go to the wolf system. Could I? Could I? Do you know what? We need the weaponry. We need the weaponry. God knows. Who is this? who is seeing me here? Thank you. <laughs> the loot goblin is still strong within me. Just because I've changed universes doesn't mean I've changed personalities overnight. <laughs> If anything, I'm probably worse. You know, Edmontonian. Using Isaac. Using Isaac. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your tail. Well, all right. Let's just get out of here. Um, I'll try and find your person. Is there going to be trouble? Are there going to be? Oh, you. De what are you doing out here, dude, madam? Hello? Excuse me? Uh, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I know they sent you, but I'm sick and tired of how that place is run. I mean, out here's no picnic, but returning home, not interested. Why do you sound so much like the person who gave us this quest? Uh, I want to convince you to come home. I'll help you out. Okay. <sighs> Just agree to come home and you won't have to talk to me anymore. Uh, this might be annoying enough to work. Mm-hmm. Um, you left a lot of people back there who really care about you. You think so? Yeah. It does get lonely here sometimes. Look, just agree to come home and you won't have to talk to me anymore. <laughs> I bet I'm more stubborn than you are. Enough Ugh. talking. I'm not going back. Okay? Um... I don't know how our cred situ Oh, it's it's fine. I there. Could work with that. Thank you. Nothing for me here. Let's go. Oh, I have to take you back as well. Bloody hellfire. Well, I'm gonna have a look in here. I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna have a look in here, and you can just live with it. You're coming with us. We're going on a journey. Hello. Anyone here? Ooh. Um. Take it, why not? The owner? Who's the owner? The colonists can't be the owner, can they? Whatever. Whatever. Ah, it's worth some coin, we could sell it off. That's what it's all about at the moment. Early days, we've got to make some make some money. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I'll just take it. We can sell it. Anything else? No. Nope. Alright. What's in? Can we go in here? Oh! I didn't really... Okay, sorry about that. Hello! Or is this where the colonist was supposed to turn up and they didn't? Because I caught up to them too quickly. Well, never mind. It's fine. Um, do that. Packs, notebooks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bloody box going mad. That and that. Might as well. A lot of card games and stuff out here. But I see you, little cred stick hiding. <laughs> Anything else? Toast! I like toast. I don't want used toast though. Hmm. 
bowls, apples. Oh, Jesus! Penicillin. Okay, take grilled cheese. Oh, I do like a grilled cheese sandwich, you know. We call them cheese toasties in the UK. But, oh, let me tell you, I could handle a cheese toasty right about now. Feeling very snacky, very peckish. All right, well, we'll head back, I think. I don't know if there's anything else up up here. Thank you. Oh, there is. Hello. Mochi and the casein. I could eat some mochi too. Oh, the craving. The craving is real. Is there anything else? Colonist person. Adoring fan. Oh, hey. Yep, thank you. Take that. Don't see a thing. Okay, let's take the colonists back and then we will head out. Aha! Hello. If you've got credits, I've got supplies. No, I've, I've brought somebody back. What is that? Big rock. Baseball cap. What is that? Oh, a chair upside down. Here they come. Come on. Get in here. There you go. You're back. Thank you so much for taking care of our friend. Here, take this for your trouble. It's the best I can do. Stay safe out there. Am I on drugs? So she gave us the quest, and was the quest? I. Oh. Take as long as you need. I am taking myself out of here. What is trying to kill us? Ecliptics! God bless it! Okay, maybe the shot is not that bad. Bloody ecliptics. Give me that. Give me all that. Everything. All the goods. Who else? You? Where did they spring from? That's my question. Where did they spring from? They've come from bloody somewhere. Okay, we've had... So what we need to do, really, is go to the wolf system, which is there. That's where we want to go. Because we can sell off this stuff. The den! Haha, -ha, we've been here before. How about and it's okay. foot up your ass, newsboy? That a big enough scoop for you? I really don't think that's appropriate talk coming from a vanguard pilot. Okay. That's exactly your problem. You don't think. If you weren't such a lousy reporter, you wouldn't be stuck all the way out here. I mean, I guess maybe that's true, but uh, if so, you're just as stuck out here as I am. So what does that say? Oh, wow. You really do want me to kick your ass, don't you? Oh. All right, that's enough. Bastion, go cool off. Get a drink. Whatever. Fine. Holden, I appreciate that you have a job to do. I really do. But you need to consider that you don't operate in a vacuum. If you're stationed here long term, that means you're around these people all day, every day. And they're not going to like it if you're making them look bad. True. Lieutenant Commander Marquez, I appreciate your concern, but I have an obligation to SSNN to report on what I see. I'm sure they do know that, Holden. I'm just saying, maybe use a little more discretion in your reporting. Maybe a lot. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. When the next big story breaks out here, I'll be sure to help you get the scoop, okay? I will think on that. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. All right, excuse me, Trade Authority gentlemen. Always a pleasure to meet someone new. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Trade Authority. I'm Marcel, and if there's anything, anything, I can do for you, please, do let me know. Our stock may not be as vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here satisfied. And seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, slim. 
It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. Dude, I don't like the way some of that sounded. It sounded a little, um, hmm. Shady beans. All right, let's see what you got for sale, dude. Yes, of course. Okay, well, that's offloaded some stuff. I try not to trade in gossip, but if you have any verifiable information, I'm all ears. All right, dude, so... Only a matter of time before I get promoted out of here. Bastion. Marquez is all right, I guess. Yeah, she's gonna be lucky to have me as a boss. Ha! Huh. Yeah, uh, you like flying for the Vanguard? You kidding? It's what I was born to do. Wait, I, I mean flying is what I was born to do. This Vanguard thing? <sighs> Temporary. Only a matter of time before I get called up to the Navy. Before you know it, I'll be a captain. No, wait. Admiral, yeah. It's good to have ambition. Yeah, how did you get assigned here? What does it matter? I'm gonna be out of here before you can blink and this will all be behind me. That reporter didn't put you up to this, did he? No. I, I already told him. It was a misunderstanding. Uh, an accident. My flight record was spotless otherwise. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, then. There's no need to be rude to me, man. No need to be rude. Look you know, you. if you go out there with no helmet Walk on, away. your head will totally explode. True story. If you're ever in New Atlantis, mind putting in a good word for me? Get me out, get me out, get me out! <laughs> Maybe we should go to go to Sirius 2. Get the power? There's a power there? Alright. I know where we're going. We're going to Sirius 2. There it is. Scanner Anomaly. Yes, take me there. say I'm a genius all right where is it I wish to land here please hello can I not land here there we go Well, there's the temple. That was easy. Oh. Bloody adoring fan, get out of the way. So what temple is this? And what power will we get, I wonder? Curiosity. Right, we'll scan some stuff on our on our route. Temple Alpha? Haven't we already been here? I feel like we have. Will there be lots of Starborn here? Are we gonna die? Maybe. Hmm. Look at this. Holy Rock. Reminds me of corals. Well, weird though. Look at like the the spiky stuff though. Is it? Can we scan? Oh no, we can't scan it. Um, that's just weird, isn't it? Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Huh. All right. Well. This seems very odd. Temple Alpha. Why is it like, like I say, why is it all spiky? Oof. Well, let's, yep. Should we just make sure we're fully loaded? Yep, we are. So what power will we get here, I wonder? The 
this will be our last power as well. Or it should be. Oh, look at that. We hit it straight away. Oh, this one's quite a distance. Come a long way, haven't we? A long way since our first temple. Okay, let's start on our first power. Personal Atmosphere 2. Oh, can we, like, upgrade? Oh! I mean, feel free to help, adoring fan. This is... This is somewhat useless, this... this. Where did he go? Where did he go? The artifacts are ours. Oh no. Okay, I like that. I like that power. That's a good power. Yes! We frickin' did it, baby! Woohoo! Tank the large! You alright, dude? Mr. Adoring Fan. I think he's okay. He's happy there. Okay, so we got personal personal atmosphere too. I did switch to uh, Life Force, by the way, just to drain some of his health. So, so personal... I'm making my life hard. Personal atmosphere too? Oh, well, well, all right. I thought we'd be getting that, but never mind. Never mind. We have the power, so now we need to get the artifact. Do we not? So let's have a look. Where is the artifact on this planet? At the abandoned Mwebridge Pharmaceuticals Lab. We have been there before, I believe. I thought we were on series two. Are we not? Oh, we're on series one. Of course we are. All right, well, we'll head to series two. And, um, yeah, see what we can find. Series two. Let's have a look. Scan it all. Lots of abandoned bionics lab. Interesting. I wonder if the um And we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will get this artifact and then move on. My question is, I've just thought of this for some unknown reason. Are the heat leeches and the 
Terramorphs the same in this universe? Does it play out the same, do you suppose? Very curious. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>